Hi guys, today I want to teach you how to make this very toy. So first, here, so here it is. This is how you whack it. And yeah, so first you're going to want any type of color of yarn. Just like this. So I want to do yellow. So after you get your yarn, you're going to take out some of it. like Just like this. So... You're just going to take out just some strands of 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 your um, yarn. Then you're going to put some right here. Just how many you want, okay? Now a lot of you might just have like strands, and a lot of you just may have one big thing. So you're going to first think about how much you want. Then after that, you're going to sorry. Then after that, you're going to um cut it with your scissors. So first, think about how long you want it. So, I want mine to be this long. So, I'm going to cut more, at least higher than, at least higher than two strands. So, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to cut some more. So, I did three, but of course you could do more. Then after that, all you're going to do is just, one by one, brush it, brush it out. It could be a normal brush or a dog brush. Usually, I like dog brushes because they brush out way easier. So, you're just going to brush it like this. You can do this. Just do whatever works for you, okay? So, this was what it looks like. Of course, yours might look different, but it's okay. It doesn't matter because it's yours, and, and I'm sure it looks really good. So, after that, we're going to get to cut some other little pieces of yarn just like this so then after that you have your little two pieces of yarn you're going to tie it around like this like that like that anywhere you want then you're just going to tie it around just like just like a shoe like, like this then you like pull on these I do it with both of them too it doesn't need to be brushed out, but if you want, you can. So when you're done with it, it looks a bit like this. So that's good because you see these extra shades here? You can either brush them off or cut it. Usually, I like to brush them out, but you can cut it if you want. But after that, it should look a bit like this. And after that, you're going to get paper or cardboard, whatever you pick. You're going to cut little circles like this. Okay, and let's have two things like this. Then you could also, if you want, you could get like a pen and put a little circle in the middle. Pascas, pencil, whatever you want to use. So it must look something kind of like this. Like this. So usually I use my hot glue gun. If you want to use tape, that will work. We're going to stick them on this wherever. Yeah, also, also, if you don't really want to do this part, you don't need to. So you're going to figure out where you want to put it. Also, I sometimes you probably want to cut another piece of yarn and put it in another place. That's totally fine. Then when you're done, you're going to hot glue or tape it. I don't really think glue stick will work. Then you're going to put it where you want it and glue it on. I know mine too, looks a little bit weird. But I still love it. Then after that, if you have like one of those like green things, you can put, you can wrap that on there, or probably hot glue it on there. Or if and if you don't, that's completely fine because I don't. So this is what I did. I got a piece of cardboard. I cut it in the middle. This is the, okay. Sorry, I cut it. I cut it in the middle. Then I cut around it to make a circle, kind of. So to do that, and I'll explain the next step. At the end, it should look like this. This is if you want to make one, you know, put it in your mouth. Yeah. And also, you can make as many of these as you would like. It's okay if it breaks time to time. You can still put it in your mouth if you, if you really want, if you're very, if you want to sometimes do a little, um, do like a video or something. Remember, always when I go outside with these, these always help me get me shifts. I'm not joking. Well, anyways, bye. I'll say.
video. Bye.